Robinson Crusoe is an Englishman from the island of Jersey who was encouraged to study law by his father, but always had the dream to go adventuring at sea. Against popular demand, he leaves on his first voyage. On his first trip at sea, Crusoe gets caught in a strong storm where his ship is badly damaged, but is saved by another vessel which takes him to mainland England. There, Crusoe is warned again to stay off the sea, but he ignores the warnings and leaves London on another voyage as a merchant. This trip turns out to be financially successful, however, when he returns to London, he leaves the money with an old widow and leaves again on yet another excursion. Unfortunately, on this trip, Crusoe is captured by African pirates and taken to the African town of Sali. He escapes captivity with a boy named Zuri and sails down the African coast where he then meets a Portuguese ship. The captain of the ship is very friendly. He buys Zuri and takes Crusoe to Brazil. In Brazil, Crusoe t settles a small area of land and becomes a wealthy plantation owner. Because of his success with the plantation, Crusoe decides to journey to Africa to get salves. On his way there, he gets shipwrecked on an unknown part of the African coast. The wreck kills all of his crew and ruins his ship, leaving Crusoe stranded and alone on the island. Quickly, Crusoe sets up a shelter on the island, though he makes routine voyages to the wrecked ship to collect any necessities that survived the wreck. Having no survival skills, he struggles for a little before planting a few seeds in various places. Not long after plants begin to grow, prompting Crusoe to build a shelter, plants more grains and manages to breed sheep. He survives for a while off of the ship's provisions, though eventually they run out, and he is forced to live off of the island's resources. After many years of living alone on the island, he encounters a footprint in the sand. At first he believes it belongs to the devil, but eventually comes to his senses and assumes that it is another human. Being isolated for over a decade, Crusoe lived in a fear for two years after finding the footprint. When Crusoe finally starts lowering his walls, he hears gunshots in the distance, which he then goes to investigate. On his exploration, he discovers a group of cannibals that have gotten shipwrecked in, on the island with a bunch of prisoners. When one of the prisoners escapes and tries to run away, his captors chase him to where Crusoe is hiding. This caused Crusoe to shoot the two captors, killing one and injuring the other. The prisoner pu pu puts himself into Crusoe's service to repay the debt of saving him. The boy is named Friday after the day that Crusoe saved him. Friday is a loyal servant but doesn't know how to speak English, so Crusoe decides to teach him the language. After many years after the arrival of Friday, another ship wrecks on the coast. There was a mutiny on the ship, and many of the former crew had become prisoners, including the captain. The nine members of the surviving crew go and survey the island. When they leave the ship, Crusoe and Friday board the ship and overpower the remaining crew. When the scouting party returns, they find Crusoe and Friday who overpower them as well. They then take over the ship and with the help of the captain, they sail back to England. On the way, Crusoe learns that his plantation has made a considerable fortune and contemplates moving back to Brazil. In the end, Crusoe decided to instead go back to England where he meets the only two remaining members of his family, his sisters. Over the course of all of Crusoe's adventures, 29 years have passed by.